my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about this picture. Okay, okay, okay. my channel if you're new I'm Goldie and this is the lazy ballerina club and before I get into anything today and into this video I just want to take a second and say thank you to every single person that messaged me and commented on last week's video it was a doozy and it was a difficult one for me to post and it was difficult to talk about but every single person that has messaged me and commented and says that they can relate to what I was struggling with and still am struggling with made it all worth it and that is the exact reason why I started this channel and if I could help one person that was struggling through the same thing that I have been struggling with then I have accomplished my goal and I just want to say thank you and if you haven't watched last week's video go watch that so you can get caught up to speed but in today's video, we are doing something completely different. We are going to do something light and fun and not deep at all. In today's video, I am going to be reacting to old ballet photos. I guess this is like old recital photos, crazy costumes that I had to wear, and just some random photos that I found in my camera roll that are very special and some of these memories I've completely like blacked out of my mind because we have some special costumes to get through today and some interesting pictures. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed down below, like this video, and let's see some of these photos that we are going to be looking at today. I honestly have no idea where to start, but I guess we should start with like the oldest one and like work our way through. And I also have to do this like super fast because I just realized my camera is gonna die. So that is fun. I can't believe I found this photo, but this first photo is a classic and it really doesn't get better than this. And I'm sure you can guess what role I was in this photo, but I was a sweet little tin man. I probably was 11 years old, 12 years old. I just remembered thinking that I really had to paint my entire face silver for this moment in my life. I embraced it. I was the best tin man out there on that stage, but this photo is just so funny to me because you can just like see the pain behind my eyes. I'm smiling, but like I'm really like dead inside in <laughs> this photo, but I honestly feel like I have a picture of me getting my makeup done. Look at this photo. <sighs> it really doesn't get better than that. Like we're really starting off strong, but I might have spoken too soon because this next photo is a photo that my family still talks about. This is a photo that I always bring up when I talk about like old recital photos. I was a sweet little card in Alice in Wonderland and there's actually a backstory to this photo. I absolutely hated this costume more than any costume I've ever worn. I remember it so vividly and when I walked into a ballet that week and they told me that I had to wear that hood over my head. I probably cried when I got home. The story behind this costume and this year in my life, recital audition day fell on the same day as this birthday party that I really, really, really wanted to go to. It was like the cute boy in class. He was having a bowling party. I think I was in like fifth grade. And when you're in fifth grade, those birthday parties are like the most exciting thing, the most important thing. And I begged my mom 
to just let me go to the birthday party and I didn't have any interest in going to recital auditions. I didn't care. All I wanted to do was go to this birthday party. I went to the birthday party. I had the time of my life and I skipped the audition and then I go in for that next rehearsal day and I see the casting and I am a card where all of my other friends were like cute flamingos with like the cutest little pink tutu. I was a card. And I had to wear this costume and I actually hated my life. Also, like, can we look at these like leather shoes that I'm wearing with like a single strap? Let's move on, shall we? Oh, this is another Tin Man one. I was a cute Tin Man, right? Can you just like lie to me in the comments and tell me that I like rocked the silver paint on my face? <sighs> I was never Dorothy, always a Tin Man. Okay, let's move on. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about this picture. Okay, okay, okay. This next picture was when I was in like my jazz arena phase. I never wanted to be a ballet dancer. I thought I was gonna be this jazz star. I had no idea what I was thinking because I'm not a jazz dancer, hip hop dancer at all whatsoever. I can't. Ugh. Like, do I even have to say anything about this picture? I mean, between the fishnets and the jazz shoes and that bedazzled belt around my sweet little like baby fat waist with the slick back bun. Oh my God, oh my God. I mean, this pose is like everything, but this costume. Okay, what's next? What's next? Okay, this next photo was actually my last recital before I went away to the Washington School of Ballet. So I lost a little bit of that baby fat. I was in this gorgeous costume. And I just remembered feeling so excited that I was about to perform with my hair down. Like that was like the most important thing, most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And it was like my last recital at my studio. I was excited. I love this photo. I also remember putting this photo next to the last photo we just talked about because I think the last photo that I just showed you was my first recital at my home studio. And this photo was my last recital. I mean, it's quite the difference, thank God. Here's an action shot from Midsummer Night's Dream. I was probably like 16, like just about to turn 17 and I thought I was a prima once again definitely not a prima. Then we get to the Washington School of Ballet. I'm at my year-round program. We are moving up in the world. And then we have like our first in-studio showcase, but like we're still technically performing, but it was just in the studio. I was so excited. And then they hand us these costumes. And I am telling you, when I saw these costumes for the first time, I thought that these were for like the children in the student showcase, like the itty bitty like five year olds, but they were for us. And I mean, look at my face. I obviously felt beautiful and I was thriving in this like pretty, pretty princess look. But then it wasn't all bad at Washington. I also wanna celebrate the beautiful moments and the beautiful costumes that I got to wear. This costume was one of my favorite costumes that I've ever worn, ever. I was obsessed with this tutu. I felt beautiful, I felt like a ballerina, and I mean, I feel like any time that you are on stage in a gorgeous tutu, especially when you are a student, it's just like so special. I was definitely still in some point shoes that like were not my shoe at all but I thought they were like the shoe for me so if you just got your point shoes and you think you found your perfect shoe you definitely haven't it's a process for sure and these <laughs> were not my shoe at all even though I wore these shoes for like way longer than I should have this was another tutu that I was like completely obsessed with I also look like such a baby in these photos like I can't even handle it. I can't even handle it. Now that I've shared some of the prettier 
costumes. Let's go back to some of the ugliest or most interesting costume I've ever put on my body. This was when I was at Kansas City Ballet and we were doing The Wizard of Oz and I was a munchkin. Just to remind you, I am a 5'7 tall woman in the studio. I was like one of the tallest dancers in the company. I remember showing up to my fitting and they put this on my body and I was like, yeah, not a chance. Like I'm not wearing this like this is not what's gonna happen thankfully i actually didn't have to wear these for the performances but like can we just like take a second and just like soak it in i really just don't know what to say i'm like talking all this shit about this costume that i didn't have to wear but like the costume that i actually had to wear wasn't like that much better this was the costume that i ended up wearing it's definitely still out there it's definitely an interesting costume and I'm most definitely wearing one orange point shoe and one black point shoe which is an exciting moment in my life. It's much more flattering. But I mean, can we just look at my partner's costume while we're at it? Like that is definitely special. A lot is going on, but I guess it looks good on stage. Like I just have to remember that it's like all a part of like a bigger vision and like blah, 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 blah. But definitely an interesting experience to say the least and i guess we should just like end it on that note leave a comment down below if you want a part two to this because i have about a million more that we can talk about but these are some of my favorites that i just had to share with you today i guess that is it for today's video like this video if you haven't and you know on my channel, it's been a little deep, it's been a little emotional, and again, like I said in the beginning of this video, I wanna thank you guys, and I appreciate you guys so much for being so understanding and supporting me and letting me know that I'm not alone and you're all feeling the exact same way. I just feel like as soon as you sit down and you talk about something that you're struggling with, it just takes the power away from it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, subscribe if you're not subscribed, like this video, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see. Moving forward, I wanna do the videos that you wanna see, if that's more of my personal life, outside of ballet, vlogs, updates, story times, whatever it is. I'm here to bring it to you. So that is it for today's video and I guess I will see you next week.